Hello and welcome to Todd's Tech Tips. Today we're going to be looking at programming for beginners. The language that I'm going to be showing you today is Visual Basic and it's got a few fundamentals. Firstly, there's objects, which are buttons, text boxes, labels, all the common things you see on your computer you can interact with. Second thing I'm going to be talking to you about today is events. An event is the action that is completed when you click a button, for example. The program we're going to be using is Visual Studio Express. It's free, and you can download it from this site here. It'll be in the description. So let's get right to it. Let's go up and open Visual Studio, and we will create a new project. We're going to be using Windows Form applications, which is basically the programs, what programs are made today, like for Notepad. This was done in a Windows Form application. So the area inside here is called the Form. That's what they, that's a term that Microsoft uses. So we're going to enter a name, we're just going to call it Test. Now this will be the interface that you use most regularly. This is called the design um, yeah, the design window. So first off, go ahead and get familiar with some of these tools here. We've got all our um, all our objects, as you would call them. So after you've gone through and just moused over these and seen what they are, you can come back and click play. Okay, so after you've done that, we'll go and click and drag a label in. Now, a label is a bit of text that will go on your form. Next thing you want to get familiar with is the Properties tab. Let's close that off. You're going to want to have a look through here and see the different types of things you can do. The main ones we're going to be talking about today is naming conventions. You want to name your labels and objects something relevant. So we're going to name ours LDL, short for label, and then we're going to type hello world because we're going to make a little hello world application. Now we can go in and make the font a bit bigger. We'll go do that and make it say 25. Make it nice and big. And we can even redrag our form to make it a little bit bigger. That's good. Next, we will go and get a button. So we'll click and drag a button in. And we'll do that. And of course, we'll go and name it. We'll name it BTN. Uh, click. So that's our label, and we've got a button. So next, we're going to want to double click on the button. And that's gone and made a little string of code and an event. Now the event, because I double clicked on it, is click. So you can change these by going up here. So it says click. You can change it. So you have all these different things where your your mouse hover, your mouse enters the little the, um, the button area. All these different types of things. You can go around and play with them as well if you want. But first off, we, what we're going to type what happens when the button is clicked. So for this demonstration I'm gonna have the label say hello world so we're gonna type LBL and let's come up with the name of our label and we're gonna click spacebar and we're gonna click uh, a full stop and then text because we want the text to change and then we're gonna press equals open the quotation marks and type hello Now we click play, we've got our label, 
Pick me. Hello world. Thank you for watching. This has been a, my first little tutorial on Visual Basic. Um, stay tuned for more. Please subscribe and thumb it up. Thank you.